Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Dobix. I'm a DJ, producer and sound engineer at my production company in Transylvania, Romania. In the past 10 years, I got the chance to work and play with almost every possible speaker and all kind of crazy audio equipment. But today I will present you the top 10 powered speakers under $500. They are suitable for mobile DJs or also small cover bands. For this list, I had some criteria. They must be 15 inch cabinets, because the person who only has this budget for speakers doesn't have the budget for a separate subwoofer, so the speaker has to fill that low mid area and the 15 inch woofer is needed. But don't worry, every speaker in this video also has a 12 inch version available. The second criteria, the speakers have to be available all around the world. So I'm sorry if I did not include any local brands that are found only in some regions. And I want it to be clear first, this channel is not sponsored in any way by anyone. So all the information that I will give you is 100% based on my experience with the product itself. Before I start, I must say something. In this range of prices, there are a lot of fake specifications, usually related to the RMS power of the box. So if you see things like 2000 watts, 3000 watts on a box, please try to ignore it. Usually the true power of the box is a quarter of the number, so 25% maximum. The only numbers that we are interested in this range of prices are the SPL, the frequency response, the weight and of course the price. The Behringer B615D at $390. It produces 126 decibels peak. It doesn't have a DSP, but it has a two band equalizer for lows and highs. It goes down to 60 Hz and at 29 kilograms, it's not the most portable speaker especially for one person, but it's still manageable. Like all the speakers in this video, I only recommend them for events with under 100 people or so. A thing that all the speakers in this video have in common is the fact that all of them start to sound bad when reaching higher volumes. This one is the champion of sounding bad at high volumes. If your budget is strictly limited to $400 per speaker, this one would do the job, but you should not have very big expectations. LD Systems Icoa 15A at $400. It produces 128 decibels peak. It goes down to 48 Hertz and it has an integrated DSP, which offers you a three band EQ, delay, and lets you choose between four presets. A very special thing about this speaker is the only coaxial one from the list. And because it's coaxial, it has by far the smallest footprint in the list. It's very easy to carry around because it has four handles, up, down and sides. Still it's quite heavy for a plastic coaxial box, 24 kilograms. Next one on the list. It's the Alto TX315 at $410. In my opinion, this one has the best sound in the whole list. There's only one problem. It's also the least powerful one at only 119 decibels peak. So if you're looking for quality, not necessary decibels, go for it. It goes down to 65 Hz. It doesn't have any DSP, just a flat and contour knob, XLR in and out with a switch between mic and line input and of course a volume knob. But at only 14 kilograms, it's very easy to carry around and mount even for a small person. The Mackie Thump 15 BST. The main reason why the Thump 15 BST is in this list it's because of the 1.4 inch compression driver. 
you really can't find high frequency drivers this big in other speakers, at least on this price range. And I must say, compared to the other speakers in this list, the Mackie really shines. At least on paper, it goes down to 32Hz, in real world, it goes down to about 50Hz which is still pretty impressive for a speaker that cost $420. SPL it's 127 dB speak and the weight it's 16 kg. It has the most complex DSP from this list with presets, mixer, delay, EQ and the Bluetooth connectivity. What I don't like about this box is the really cheap plastic feeling it feels like it's gonna break at the smallest accident. And I also don't like the fact that the bass it's quite moody. It feels like the woofer it's ready to give up anytime. But overall, it's a really nice speaker with a lots of new features. The RCF Art 315A Mark IV. This one is the opposite of the Mackie Thump. No DSP, no Bluetooth, no displays at the backside. It's just an old fashioned two way speaker with a Class D amplifier, with an SPL of 129 decibels peak and going down to 50 Hz. A really cool feature about this speaker is the fact that it sounds balanced all the way up. By balanced, I mean the woofer keeps up with the high frequency driver and it has the smoothest crossover point, being the most musical one in this list. At 19 kilograms, it's not the easiest to carry, but a single person can mount it with no problems. The box itself feels really solid, the plastic bit a bit more polished than the other ones. And if you're looking for a simple classic speaker, at $450, this is the one to go with. The EV ZLX 15P. This one is quite popular in Europe, being integrated in many systems for monitoring and filling applications, but it's also quite good on its own. It produces 127 decibel speak and it has the lowest frequency response of 42 Hz. So if you're planning to play ADM and music with lots of mid-bass frequencies, this will give you the most bass response. It has a DSP with a display on the back, along a two input mixer. It weighs 17 kilograms. And in my opinion, at the price of $450, it has the cleanest look in this list. Turbosound Milan M15. This one, it's a very interesting box because I once compared it with the Behringer 615D and the results were quite surprising. It has the same sound as the Behringer, just a bit more polished and a bit more horsepower, producing 130 decibels peak. So in my opinion, it's the Behringer B615 Deep on steroids. It also has an analog DSP on the back, which includes a high-pass filter and a two-channel mixer. It weighs 28 kilograms and the price tag is $480. JBL Eon 615. Just like the RCF 315A, this one has history. It's been evolving since the late 19s with the Eon 15 being its grand grandfather, followed by the Eon 15 G2. It now has a modern look with a full grill on the front and a really nice and solid construction. It produces 127 decibel speak, it's going down to 47 Hz and on the back it has an EQ with a two-channel input mixer. It weighs 18 kg and thanks to the big big handles on the sides, it's very easy to mount and carry around. Price point $480. DB Technologies Opera 15 or as I like to call it the RCF 315A with another name. It's a well-known fact that RCF and DB Technologies are brothers in arms sharing components, drivers, technology 
and this case is not different. The sound is almost the same as the RCF. The Opera has more features like a DSP in the back and a two-channel mixer. It produces 130 dB peak and it goes down to 56 Hz. The weight is 18 kg and the price tag is $480. HK Audio Sonar 115 at $499. This speaker is the entry ticket for HK Audio in the budget area just like Turbo Sound did with the Milan series. With a peak SPL of 133 decibels, it's by far the most powerful box in this list. It has a two-channel mixer on the back with a DSP, which includes presets, EQ, Bluetooth connectivity, wireless control with their own app. It has a really, really strong DSP on the back. Frequency response goes down to 50 Hz, and the weight is 19.5 kg. Also, the build quality is good, with a full black grille on the front and handles on both sides. You want to know my personal favorite? If you want to keep it simple, go for the RCF or the JBL. If you want DSP, multiple input channels, displays, go for the HK Audio or the Mackie. But bear in mind that when the total production budget for a speaker has to include Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, DSP displays, it will leave less money for the manufacturer to spend for the amplifier itself and the drivers. At least when the budget is limited per speaker, I would keep it simple and choose between the RCF and the JBL, but I recommend listening to both of them because we all have different taste in music and you should see which one of them fits you more. I hope this video was useful for you, thank you for watching and see you next time.